The year was 1955, and the voice in my head was that of Richard Dreyfus. I never had friends like the ones I had when I was 12. There was me, P.D. Lachance. Anyone else fed up with this oversaturation of media? Three channels and still nothing on. Then there was Joey Duchamp. The voice in his head was Roy Scheider. How are you, Richard? Fine, Roy. How are you? Good, good. We should grab a drink sometime and catch up. Maybe reminisce about Jaws. Great. You should give me a call sometime. My number's 555... Wait, wait. What? 555? Uh, yeah. You know what, Richard? If you don't want to have drinks, just say so. You don't have to be a dick about it. Oh, please, make the voices stop! And then there was Quag Chambers. He was the leader of our gang. He had sex when he was five and committed his first rape when he was ten. Rape, of course, being legal in the 50s. Ha ha! Beat those cards, fellas! Ha ha ha! Giggity giggity, 50s giggity! Hey, you guys! Finally, there was Cleve Brown, my pudgy black friend. I can still see him now, all pudgy and black. Cleve, please, we're busy looking at Playboy. Look at the way these women starve themselves. This one can't be more than 180 pounds. This is way better than Playboy. Do you guys want to see a dead body? Cleve, it's 1955. Please re-enter the clubhouse in a more stereotypically animated fashion. Lord almighty, I done see me a dead body down by the lake. Sure enough, I thought I'd go deep and dumb when I saw me that dead body. Cleve, calm down. You're not making any sense. Every day. Anything was possible as we set out that day, except contracting AIDS, because AIDS had not yet been invented by the government in an effort to eradicate the homosexual community. Have gun, will travel, reads the card of a man. A night without armor in a savage land. Okay, I got another one. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on your crying. We decided to cut through old man Pressman's junkyard. Even though legend had it that any kid caught scaling the fence ran the risk of being attacked by the old man's dog, who would charge to the cry of chopper sick balls. I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, what are you kids doing? Oh, no, it's him! That's right, I'm old man Pressman. I own the junkyard. I'm cranky because all my stuff is junk. Why can't I have nice things? Chopper, sick him! Sick him, boy! Now, he said, sick him, boy, but what I heard was, Chopper, talk to disfigured World War II veterans who aren't as bitter as they should be. Glad I could do my part. I think you may have done too much. Hey, how about this brand new thing called rock and roll? Even though it was just invented, we already remember it fondly. Here's Little Richard with Piano Riff Woo. Woo! 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 My! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? <laughs> a black guy. Uh, guys, anyone know when the next train is scheduled? Don't worry. If a train comes, I'll warn you in slow motion. Train! <laughs> Hey, sorry you got paralyzed, Joey. That's uh, all right. Thanks for going all the way back to the junkyard to get me this wheelchair. Boy, was old man Pressman angry. Ooh! Well, there it is. None of us could breathe. The twisted and mangled body we had come to see was far more disgusting than any of us could ever have imagined. He's nasty. <laughs> 